Discerning between the noise of the ego and the inner voice is quite a challenge and a learning experience. It comes with practice. The inner voice is gentle, calm and your whole body feels centered and at ease. Whereas when the ego is at play, there is a sense of anxiety, agitation. There's a certain amount of unease in the body. And it's, that's what helps us discern between the two. Recognizing and going, the more you go deeper and deeper and deeper, you're able to, with time, really start understanding which one is playing up when. And it becomes very critical to live in alignment with the inner voice because ultimately that is the key to living life joyfully. That is what is the human design. We have been designed to live in alignment with it. More importantly, a lot of people mistake it for when they speak candidly or honestly or what they call authentically share whatever they feel like are they really being honest with themselves or honestly sharing this their opinion and this is something i awakened to that i was great at just saying whatever i felt like saying or whatever was at the top of my head but did it add any value to anybody maybe not it was possibly hurtful it was not impactful and that is the significant difference between the two. One inspires, impacts, influences the inner voice, whereas the ego is an expression of our individual self. It is not the authentic self.